going to speak in a minute, but I'd like to name them out specifically. Um, Mayor Sylvia, um, and I'm going to have to check my notes out here, but uh, Sylvia Murphy, who's not here with us today, but uh, she's been a big part of this, along with Commissioners David Rice, um, Heather Carruthers, Danny Colhag, and former Commissioner George Nugent, um, who is here, and also our newest um, commissioner for this district, replacing George actually, is Michelle Coldiron. So if you'd like, uh, George and Michelle, why don't you come, both come up and uh, have a word. Thank you, Greg. And a special thanks to uh, all the hard work that Debbie does, uh, following in her dad's footsteps, uh, Ed Swift. Ed, turn your hearing aid up. <laughs> it's uh, what a beautiful day and what a great Christmas present. Uh, 16 months, 17 months after Hurricane Irma devastated the Lower Keys. And for all the good work that Habitat does, uh, the occupants that are going to be taking uh, their places in the houses that they've worked hard for, uh, couldn't be a greater present for the people that will be in there. And, and, and a great amount of thanks to Habitat for Humanity for all the work that they've done. Uh, and we're dedicating this, I think I'm correct in saying this, to Bill Lowy. Uh, Bill Lowy, who uh, I don't know if you all know, but I've had a 20-year history with the county commission and a 20-year history with Bill Lowy and working for all the different executive directors uh, that headed up Habitat for Humanity over the last 20 years. Uh, it was nice to see Bob Calhoun back. Uh, thanks for making it uh, down here, Bob. Uh, Bill and I went back to, uh, Bill was the initiator when we acquired the piece of property on Big Pine uh, that turned into the Restore uh, building, but because of uh, uh, a damage uh, over time to that building, it had to be torn down, and I hope that that will become uh, a somewhat semi-permanent structure with the infrastructure in place to where it's not 16 months or longer before we can have housing for volunteers who want to come down and volunteer their services. We have a lot of good Samaritans throughout that want to volunteer efforts. So uh, I think that uh, the new commissioner, the incoming commissioner, Michelle Coldiron, We'll continue working on that in the future. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on her and, and helping her uh, go through the process of, of getting that done. Hopefully within the next few months, uh, we'll have that village of volunteers, for volunteers uh, in place. Uh, Michelle Luckett, who's heading up the long-term recovery group, is working hard on that and has some things in place that uh, now it's just a matter of getting in and implementing uh, those structures in there and then start utilizing the volunteers that are standing in line to come down here and help those people who are still struggling in this reco recovery effort. Uh, having said that, uh, Bill Lowy uh, would be proud. He could not make it today. He's under the weather. But Bill Lowy is a friend and a hard worker, a doer, who's gotten a lot of these things done, uh, even from the sidelines. And uh, so we owe a lot to Bill and all the other uh, executive directors who, who've worked to make this uh, come about. So congratulations to all the, the new receivers and occupancy, and uh, best of luck to you guys in the upcoming new year. Yay! Hello and good afternoon. What an exciting day this is. Um, all your dreams, your hard work, your sweat equity to be able to now sit here and celebrate this dedication. I know Gregory um, had pointed out a few of the people that are board of directors, but show of hands, how many people here are staff for Habitat for Humanity? Amazing, thank you all so much for your diligence. And again, how many are board members sit on the Habitat for Humanity board of directors? Thank you so much. And how many here are recipients, are the people who have done the hard work, have created this as their new home? You are who we are celebrating today because it is you and your families that Monroe
Monroe County needs to continue having the fabric of our community be family-based. And I am just so grateful for you all for putting in the hard work and for having the trust and the faith in Habitat for Humanity and in our county. And thank you everyone who is here today to celebrate this most awesome moment. Thank you. Yay! Thank you, George and Michelle. And again, just like to point out the great partnership that we have with the county. Couldn't do it without them. Um, they're really great to work with and appreciate their dedication and the hard work that they do on an ongoing basis. And uh, as I mentioned, Habitat's all about partnerships and we're always looking to continue building and growing to new partnerships to figure ways to help solve some of the workforce housing problems that we have here. Um, but one of the things that it takes to be able to complete a project like this is financing. And so I'd like to invite up um, a couple people who helped out with the initial financing. One is our board member Dave, um, Paul Hagen, and Karen Sharp from First State Bank of the Florida Keys. Um, thank you all. So on behalf of Habitat for Humanity, I'd like to present this plaque and show our gratitude for what you guys have done to make this moment possible. And just let you know, we really do appreciate what you do for the community, the fact that you're willing to serve the community in a way besides, you know, just having a business here, it really shows you how important it is to have great partners like First State Bank of Florida, of Florida Keys to help make something like this possible. Thank you very much, Greg, and I applaud Dave, uh, the bank's CFO, who's sharing his financial expertise with Habitat over a long period of time, and we're certainly very pleased and honored to be long-term partners with Habitat for Humanity, and thank you for what you do. This community desperately needs us, and thank you for your long-term commitment to the benefit of everyone here, and congratulations to the new homeowners. Yay. Thank you so much. So there's various ways that we do get partnerships involved with Habitat. Obviously, financing is one. Another one is, as I mentioned, the homeowners all need to take a bunch of courses to be able to be successful homeowners. And so I'd like to give a shout out to a few of the people that have taught a variety of different classes that uh, are provided to the homeowners so that they can be successful in this. One is uh, Key West City Commissioner Sam Hoffman. He teaches a class on estate planning. And as you know, as you um, create a little bit of wealth within a family, and that's what happens when you own a home, you get that equity in the home, it, which uh, can make a big difference. It's good to understand that and know how to plan for your future. So definitely a shout out to Sam Coffin for his work. Debbie Batty, um, who teaches a course also for us on the Homeowners Association rules and how to make a Homeowners Association work. Um, Robert Morrell, who also actually believes with Four State Bank. Yeah, I'd like to give him a shout out. He uh, teaches a class on budgeting and financing. You know how important that is to be successful in your daily lives. And Rich Fielder, who uh, teaches a course on the closing process and what they have to go through when they're signing their papers. And I'd like to give a shout out to him. You know, he's been helping Habitat since, uh, there he is, 2004, um, helping with closings for Habitat partner families. So he, I believe he's done all, it will be, when we're done with this, 45 or 46 different closings. So I appreciate what you've done for us, Rich. And uh, again, another shout out to the Family Selection Committee. Uh, these families here wouldn't have this opportunity if it wasn't for the work of a volunteer group of people that's part of the Family Selection Committee. If anybody here is here from the Family Selection Committee, please just raise your hand. Thank you so much for what you do. I'm sure the families here who receive this opportunity certainly appreciate your efforts. So definitely thank you so much for that. All right, next, um, I'd like to take the time to uh, shout out a couple others. Volunteer groups. As you know, um, Habitat does rely on volunteers quite a bit. And so we did, had quite a few volunteer groups locally and from other areas. So I'd like to shout out a couple of the volunteers group. One, Wells Fargo. Uh, the second one has been a big help, United Methodist Church, Key Strong, the Key West Chief Petty Officers, and then we had visiting groups such as the Opening the World, Faith, um, Faith Presbyterian, Praying for Pelicans, Bethany Baptist, and Asbury United Methodists. All came here and put their time 
and efforts in for free to help get these houses completed. So definitely, we couldn't do this without volunteers. Now I'd like to bring up a great sponsor, not just of this habitat, but of habitats throughout Florida. Publix Charity Foundation is an amazing group of people and representing Publix today is uh, Jason. And uh, they started us out here with initial donation of $200,000. And so, and that's quite a large sum of money as you might know. And again, Publix doesn't just, hasn't just helped the Key West habitat, but it's helped out habitats throughout Florida, as I know from my previous experience working in Miami for six years. So I'd like to present this to you, Jason, and uh, say thank you so much for what your organization does to help the community. Well, guys, first and foremost, I'd like to congratulate everybody. These are beautiful homes. Publix has been involved in this a long time. I've been to many of the projects. I didn't, unfortunately, make it to this one, but once again, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for having us here. Thank you so much. All right, and uh, now let's talk about some of the uh, grantors who have helped out um, to uh, donate money also specifically to the families. Uh, some of the sponsors that have helped out, the boy, I told him I was, might mess this up, but for the design source, the Desenio family, Mike Borowski of the Hemingway Home, Eric DeBoer from Manly DeBoer Lumber, Don and Heather Whitehead of the Wicker Guest House, Andy Strunk of Strunk Ace Hardware, Ed Swift and Chris Belland of Historic Tours of America, and finally, um, owner Kate Milano and manager Jim Marquette of the Gardens Hotels, all these groups donated close to $200,000 to sponsor family specifically. So a big shout out to them, and I'll be bringing them up in a little bit. Now though, I'd like to also take a special thanks um, to our project manager, where is Freddie? Or Frankie, Frankie, right? ah, standing in the back here. Frankie, thank you so much. Um, he's our project manager to make sure that we got this completed on time and he put a lot of work into this, so definitely a big shout out to him. And uh, also I'd like to take this time out to uh, bring up Rick Griffin, Rick Griffin, the head of the Monroe County Building Department. Can't tell you how great it is to work with the department that comes through when you really need them, put out the extra effort and doing such a quick turnout, turnaround to help us out. So Rick, appreciate it. Please have such a great partner in Habitat, providing affordable housing in the Monroe County. We want to thank them for being an important part of our community. Sorry. An important part of our community, providing our citizens housing opportunity. Monroe County is proud to hand over the CLs so that you can move into your community. Commissioner Coldiron, you kind of stole a little of my thunder. I was going to thank my staff, and you already did that. Um, but we do have a great staff at Habitat. You know, Susan's worked really hard with the families to get them Woo. to the point. Susan, can you come up here? Yes, Susan! Ow, ow, ow! To be a successful organization, you've got to have a great team with you. And I tell you, I am blessed to have inherited such a great team to work with us. So. Um, you know, Susan, like I said, has been working with the families. We have Terrence back here, who's the, our building, our office manager. And uh, I know I saw Erica somewhere. She's hiding now. <laughs> uh, but Erica is our volunteer coordinator. And uh, we have three great people in construction, Dan, John, Kirsten. Um, I see John, where's Dan? Oh, yeah, all right. So thank you so much for all you've done. And uh, we have a new staff member just started this week, Sherry. Where is she? She went home, she wasn't feeling well. Oh, okay, she went home. But she, she put a big effort out this week to get us to this point too. So definitely a shout out to a great team. And Marty, our construction director, is not here at the moment. Um, 
his wife actually is still out of town over Thanksgiving, so they have a lean on Susan. Not a good type of vacation, but uh, she's my favorite in Pennsylvania. I think you're her favorite. And then also to somebody who's uh, helping me, she's like uh, somebody that makes me a little more mellow, Christina. Thank you so for much you do. She's our development director. So if anybody wants to, of course, donate money later on, see Christina. <laughs> and uh, so let's get started with the most important thing here, which is to introduce you to the families and the sponsors who help make this possible. Um, we have a great group, as you can guess, of uh, families. And uh, so let's bring up Nestor and Tony Cabrera. Tony, where, where are you guys? All right. And their family. So it's uh, great to have you guys here. And uh, Tani's our unofficial permit monitor. She was checking every day to make sure we were on time. She wanted to move in really bad, evidently. <laughs> and I can't blame her, because these are beautiful houses. So uh, great to have you up here. And at the same time, let's bring up the sponsor for um, Design Source. OK. Amadeo, where are you? All right. Come on up here. And uh, to show our appreciation, we're uh, giving Design Source a plaque here for all their efforts again. They uh, contributed quite a bit of money to make this possible, and we certainly appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for um, coming, and congratulations to all uh, on a, such a successful project here. Um, Design Source uh, has been partnering with Habitat for many, many years, and uh, we're you know, thankful we get the opportunity to help everyone here. We're doing our part. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so just to have, uh, we have a photographer here. Let's uh, get a picture of what you guys close together here. Next, let's bring up Jennifer Hernandez and Gabriel Nieves. And they're sponsored by the Hemingway Home. And uh, we have Ale Alexa Morgan here, Director of Public Relations. So much. And uh, so you think you can present the keys and the gifts? <laughs> By the way, so included uh, as gifts, as you can see, there's an orchid. We're giving them the keys, and of course, one of the most important things to help guide them through their lives the Bible. Um, and then we're also giving, uh, to attach each orchid, Publix is, um, we're giving them a $100 gift card for Publix. So uh, that's kind of what's involved in the gifts so. All right, do we have um, Mark, Bacon, and Tisha? All right, the whole team. Known as Team Bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
And uh, the team that sponsored um, Team Bacon is... Um, Historic Tours, come on up. And we have Ed Swift, right? And Debbie. Just a minute because, um, you know, you careers pass right before you. George Nugent has been working in behalf of affordable housing for workforce for over 20 years. <coughs> and he has just retired from the county commission. I'd like if everyone would give him one more round of applause. There's, there's a long-term project, and this is just one of many, many that we need, but the state of Florida just offered us 1,300 permits in Monroe County to be able to continue to build homes for workforce. These are in addition to our ROGO allotments. Now, y'all, you can't have a home unless you have a permit to build it. Michelle Coldiron, who's taken George's place, fought on the Marathon City Council as the mayor of Marathon to get 300 of those permits for Marathon. And she is now on the county commission who's having a little hard time making a decision whether to take the additional permits for Monroe County. And Michelle, I hope we have your commitment to fight that fight to the end. I see it, yes, yes. <laughs> and as a family, I am so delighted that you have a permanent home to live in in our county. Thank you. Thank you. First, I'd like to give uh, thanks to the Lord and the Savior, Jesus Christ, because without this and without him, it would be impossible for me to even own a home. So I want to say thank you to him first. Then I want to say thank you to Habitat. Thank you very much. And then to Miss Susan and Miss Debbie <laughs> Batty, Mr. Swift, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the bottom of our house. Thank you. Okay, Nellie and Laz Diaz, come on up. And there, uh, is your daughter Angel, Angelina with you? Yeah. And son, all right. So we bring back Hemingway Homes. Appreciate it. So the, you guys actually traveled to Ocala to see the start of your home. <coughs> wow. So they. So in case you don't know, we got these homes were constructed in Ocala, Florida, by Southern Structures, and uh, they were so interested they went up there to check it out when it started to begin. So very interesting. And again, um, Alexa. From uh, Hemingway House is here, and can you think so? Yes, thank you, our pleasure. All right. Um, again, um, we did have a chance to go see how this all started and to, to see where we're at now. It's amazing they got it done so quick. Um, like you said, a lot of dedication from a lot of different people, and um, just thank you to everyone. Looking forward to uh, living near my good neighbors. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be fun, and uh, we're gonna make this work. Thank you, guys. All right, 
if I could bring Gina Sagnatskia, I have a hard time pronouncing your name. <laughs> and presenting on behalf of uh, Strunk Ace Strunk Hardware, Strunk Ace Hardware, Christina is going to present um, to Gina and her family. Jane, would you like to say anything? I just want to thank the staff and the hotel. Thank you. You know, Gina is a fortunate person. They just recently got an eviction notice from the mobile home park they were in. So, and the last one is staying just in time here, right? So everybody's been bold though, so this is a couldn't happen at a better time for Gina's family, so we're happy to hear it. It couldn't happen to a better person. I understand you're very involved with the community, so in the community also. So it's good to have a neighbor like her have the opportunity to help the community too. Thank you. Uh, Justin and Savannah, Where, where's Justin and Savannah? And we can uh, know Savannah and Cinderella in our office. <laughs> Come on, guys. And uh, if you could bring up Eric Tabor, please. present this to Manly DeBoer Lumber for supporting another family and I uh, couldn't tell you again how much this means to us. We couldn't accomplish this without your organization's help and especially you, so appreciate it. for helping us throughout so much around. Yeah. And another huge one to David uh, from First State Bank. He's helped me not only with some things for this house, but things that'll last me the rest of my life. So thank you very much, David. All right, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to welcome you to the Habitat family. And uh, if we could bring up Ronaldo. Canizades and Tomara Garcia Miranda. All right. And uh, Wicker Guest House. Congratulations. Um, Thank you very much. Don and Heather Whitehead, who are the owners. Come on up, please. And then Ronaldo came from Cuba. And uh, he's here. USA now. USA now. But I'm sure he thought he would never own a home in his life, starting there, and look at him now. Proud homeowner, so uh, glad to bring you into the family. Yeah. And uh, we have the... How huge is right now? All right, we'd like to get this. Thank you very much. We'll show our appreciation to the Wicker Guest House again, donating around $200,000 to help us achieve this moment. Does that say more? <coughs> Thank you, 
bring up um, you know let's uh, bring up well in Ingrid is she still here? Well, I think she is okay. So we had a homeowner um, who was hoping to be here today. She had to go to Miami for a children's soccer game or something and unfortunately her car broke down last night and so she's unable to be here but we do have a 10th homeowner Ingrid um, Tasayo and they were sponsored by Historic Tours of America, so if we could at least have you come up and grab. And Natalie uh, was gonna come up to um, accept Ingrid's gifts, and uh, are we gonna give her the keys to the house? <laughs> so, here you go again. For She really wanted to be here. She's actually on the road now, but as a mother of three boys, she had to go out of town to a sporting event and got a flat tire. But she is beyond ecstatic to get this opportunity. She never thought she was going to have this opportunity. And she's kind of dear to my heart, too, because I was on the family selection committee and I went and did my home visit along with Susan. So I got to meet her and we established a relationship. She's <coughs> This could happen for these families without having to. It's impossible. And George mentioned Bill Lowy. And Bill, I don't know, George, how many years ago Bill started bending our ear? 20 plus years ago. And what a pain in the butt. But he never let up, he never quit his his lobbying of the politicians, both at the state level, at the habitat level, um, and to build in Monroe County, you have to have a tremendous amount of patience, and it really is unbelievable. I wish Bill could be here, but I'd like for everybody to give Bill Lowy a great round of George, I hope you pass that on to him, and uh, I certainly respect Bill. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. I'd like to bring now Marlon Lyons and Nicole Rhodes. And uh, can we get from Manly DeBoer back on up here? Speaker, so I said, sure, that means two, right? She said, absolutely, two words will suffice, and she recommended Christina Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I second that. <laughs> and uh, great to have you guys as part of our team now, and uh, would you like to say something?
Debbie Swift, our mentor. Their kind generosity and teamwork have blessed, our, blessed us with building our family home and making what once was a dream a reality. A huge thank you goes out to all of you. My family and I are very grateful for all you have done, and we will look very much so forward to moving in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us the Habitat family. Congratulations. And as she so clearly pointed out, again, you can see how important it is to have the community involved in partnerships from mentors to fundraising and uh, donors from the community, businesses that really step up. Thank you. And we have we have one more, uh, if we could bring up Shanti, and Shanti Simmons. She is, she's a teacher in Monroe County, and uh, she has her three-year-old son with her, so come on up. And um, Gardens Hotels, Mark. Okay, all right, well. Um, th their home is sponsored by the Garden Hotels, and we certainly appreciate what they've done. And would you like to say a word, Shanti? Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to just give thanks and honor to God just for his grace and his mercy and his continuous blessings. I want to thank Habitat just for the opportunity. It's just been a blessing. Um, I want to thank my family for the support. I mean, just just for the prayers of my family to do this, and it's, it's God. <laughs> that brought me through everything. I want to thank, um, when I say Habitat, everyone in Habitat, thanks Susan. I want to thank my mentor, Darlene Thomas. Um, of course, I've heard everything that Habitat has done over the years, but didn't really know what Habitat did until I got involved. And um, they do some great things for me, it's all about helping others. And I'm happy I had a chance to be a part of that. So thank you once again. Thank you, so happy. Well, I think we're uh, coming to the end. Uh, I wanted to give a one uh, shout out for Habitat itself. Um, in case any of you don't realize, we're celebrating our 25th year, and uh, we're going to have our silver anniversary event coming up on February 28th. Is it or February 28th? So uh, hopefully you all look for that, and I uh, hope to see you at uh, our 25th anniversary celebration. Um, again, thanks for coming. Appreciate having everybody here, including the people from out of town, like the interim director that we had, Jim Fisher. It's nice to see you here. He handed the ball off to me and uh, stepped in at a time that was really needed, so we appreciate you coming in. And again, thanks to the county, county commissioners, Michelle, George, great to have you here. And especially to those who donated their money and efforts and the volunteers. Couldn't do it without you. Thank you and have a great day. For all of those folks, all of you families, all my new partner families, if you could stick around for a minute, Ralph would like to get a group a group photo for everybody, okay? So just to hang out with us for a second here. And last, if anybody wants any food, drinks, that's uh, for free. We have a food truck over here. So feel free to grab some food and refreshments. And uh, again, that's thanks to Warren, who's also one of our great board members. Appreciate it. Uh, destination Catering Events. So, and that was sponsored actually by First State Bank of Florida Keys, I believe, too. So thanks to them for that. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. Last one thing. Oh, my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Don't bring it up yet. I almost forgot one of the most important things. Uh, Terry, will you take it from here? Thanks. Yeah, the big conclusion, we want everybody to be a part of this. So look in your program. There's a litany of dedication. And we're all going to dedicate these homes together. Are you finding that? Spread them around. Yes, I hear some yes. And as you're looking for those, I just want to uh, add a big thank you to our executive director, Greg. Thank you for all your hard work to make this project come to completion. All right, everybody got this? As a symbol of cooperative goodwill, work, and sharing, we dedicate this house that this house may serve as a place for rest, shelter, and laughter. We dedicate this house. And thanks to you, Lord, for guidance and wisdom in this project and in our lives. We dedicate this house. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Terry. All right, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Appreciate you being here.